Hello students, welcome to our planer safety video. The shortest piece of wood that can go through the planer is 12 inches. The thinnest piece of wood that can go through the planer is a quarter inch. Do not plane boards across the grain. This way, not this way. Keep your hands away from the rollers that are inside the planer. Do not change the depth of cut while a board is inside the planer. Never look inside the throat of the planer while it's running. Make sure your depth of cut is set properly before starting the planer. After each cut, the table can be raised one half turn of the hand lever located on the side of the machine. When available, please turn on the dust vac while using the planer. If a workpiece jams or the planer stalls, please stop the machine immediately. I have a rough sawn piece of walnut here. I did take out a little bit of a warp at the ends with the joiner. I'm going to be running this through the planer. It does have some knots, but they're hard, like solid, dense knots, they're nothing loose. And I'm going to try and flatten this board out a little bit here today. I'm taking a look at the thickness of my board. I do have some slight variations in the thickness of this board down here at this end especially, which is probably going to give me a little bit of trouble. I think I'm going to try and straighten that out first and come right back. I was going to use a hand plane to thin this down a little bit at that end so I didn't have so much trouble going through the planer. But on further inspection, I discovered there was some metal, maybe a nail or a piece of fence, inside the wood, which explains why this wood was such an uneven thickness. When the sawmill blade hit that nail, it instantly dulls the blade, which starts to deflect and not cut evenly. You can see how the piece of wood gets fatter at the top. So with that section of the board removed, I'm ready to set the planer. I'm dropping the table. I slide my board in. Wherever it grabs the board tight, that's about where I want to be. I'm going to look at this. I know this is about 5 o'clock. I back it up, pull the board out, reset it to 5, maybe sneak it just a hair closer to 6 for my first pass. I'm going to turn on the planer and set the board through. see that it mostly cut down here at this end, but we know the board was a little bit thicker at that one end. I'm giving it a half turn. Another half turn, and I'll run this again. This time I'm going to flip it over. Cut that cut almost the whole length. There are still a few rough patches. Now we're really starting to see how pretty the grain is on this piece. If I want my piece to be maximum thickness, like I'm going to glue this to another piece for making something like a cutting board, I might stop here. If I know what I'm making and I don't need to glue it up to other pieces to make a panel, I may want to continue to plane this to final thickness. 